the Multifamily Performance Program. It's an energy efficiency initiative that asks building owners to really evaluate after an energy assessment is performed how to reduce their on-site energy use by 15%. Um, through that assessment, measures recommended uh, typically are, you know, replacing uh, in-unit um, appliances with ENERGY STAR models. That's a good way to get, you know, tenant buy-in, especially if you're paying the bills through a master meter. CFL distribution, common area lighting, looking at replacing uh, magnetic ballast with electronic ballast and, you know, T T8s over T12s. Um, Bi-level lighting in your stairwells and corridors. If you don't need to have a light on, the most efficient option is to have it off. Uh, also, home run measures down the boiler room, indirect hot water heaters, boiler controls, how your heat is distributed, um, and then also air sealing, really trying to figure out how to keep the cold out and the heat in. A professional um, energy consultant um, come in and evaluate equipment such as your burner and your boiler can help you look at potential energy efficiency upgrades. So in, the, in this case at Sunnyside Gardens, uh, the building was able to implement um, a new boiler as well as new burners to help comply with the new law that's saying that you can't burn number six oil anymore. They're now going to be burning number two oil as well as natural gas. They've put in very efficient uh, equipment. They're going to see energy savings, so dollar savings on the equipment side, as well as um, now the ability to burn a cleaner fuel with number two in uh, natural so gas. So with NYSERDA, our multifamily program, we ask that all participating buildings, in order to receive our incentive dollars, uh, try to reduce their total annual energy cost by 15%. Um, typically the way that we see buildings achieve that is really looking at one or two home run measures um, that usually take place down here in a boiler room. Um, so upgrading your actual boiler or the burner uh, or your heating distribution or your boiler controls can help really drive that, uh, that, that um, energy reduction plan. So for us that minimum of 15%. Um, then accompanying that there's a lot of other measures such as lighting, uh, you know, pipe insulation, air sealing, um, other kind of low hanging fruit measures that can help you know uh, get up to that 15% minimum. But really down here in the boiler room is where you're going to see a lot of the large savings um, that can be done and evaluated through the yeah, assessment. Sure. Um, as you can see here, there are three hot water storage tanks that are actually producing and keeping hot water. Now during the summer, you don't have to crank up the big boiler to, in order to create domestic hot water for you know showers and baths. It's just done by these little guys that are able to save a lot of energy in the process. Another really good measure is how you actually control your boiler heat distribution as well as hot water uh, uh, production. So, you know, in this building, they examined their, their boiler controls. What are the, you know, nighttime setbacks? Uh, where are the thermostats that are fueling the boiler or telling them when to turn on and off? Typically what you see in most buildings is that they have an outdoor heat timer that says, okay, it's below 55 degrees, you need to power up your boiler. But if you actually have sensors inside the apartments telling you that the buildings or the, the apartments are already warm, there's no need to create the boiler, then that can be a really uh, you know, good energy efficiency uh, investment. Legislation such as here in New York City where number six heating oil is being phased out, that energy assessment will address compliance. How will you be able to you know, change or upgrade your boilers to not only comply with the law, but to also make sure they're as energy efficient as possible? Um, so the roadmap or the assessment can really address many different issues besides just measures you can do tomorrow, but also what sort of measures you can do much further down the road.